Okay. Well, thanks. Welcome to our last segment here in our quest to make a travel dobro out of a Martin Backpacker knockoff. I'm all set here. I've got the cover plate into place. The bridge cover is, is on there to rest my hand on. It feels a little a little bit narrow. I think uh, on my next instrument I'll, I'll come up with something a little bit wider than the drawer pull. But it doesn't look too bad. I used an epoxy on it and I've got some glue lumps there. Eh, you can't see them from the street. Uh, so let's pick a few tunes and see how it handles. Okay, so that's the Long Road to Aspen, by the way, which I've been featuring in these videos. That's from Uncle Josh. We'll try going up the neck with something here, see how it handles up there. Okay, so there's a little bit of Dark Hollow. Uh, that tab came from Janet Davis. And uh, just to see how it goes. Uh, see, check out the bottom end here. A good one might be the Red Bud Rag. So, just to check out the, the low. Well, let's try that again. So there's a little demonstration of uh, the travel dobro. Um, want to stress that this is music for one. Don't expect that if you do something like this, it's going to stand up against other bluegrass instruments, um, because of course it's not, uh, unless you've got an inst uh, a band of travel instruments, <laughs> uh, and maybe then uh, maybe then it would it would be okay. Um, to that end, um, well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I've got here. Uh, yeah, just a couple of final notes. The total cost that I have into this this little project. Okay, starting with the guitar and the, the conversion nut, the screen cover, which is that little guy right there, of course. Uh, the Sierra Cup, which you can't see, that's our our speaker or our cone. Bridge, bridge cover with the old pot cap. Okay, cover plate with screws. 
and then the ball jar lid, which I almost forgot, tin can and biscuit. The whole thing comes to $65.75 in, in rounded figures. So it's there wasn't a lot of uh, a tremendous amount of risk or cost. And the strings, just to give a final word on the strings, uh, this is what I finally went with: 13, 17, 22, 26, 36, and 46. Is that coming out all right? Okay. Which is basically a, a, a medium gauge set. I think if you check it out, uh, what I did was I I inserted the 22 and omitted the 54, which would have been the sixth string. So it's a modified modified set. So tack on another five dollars, and you're into into just over 7.75. For an instrument that you can take around, probably not offend anyone in a in a hotel room, and penetrate the walls, a soft enough sound, but it's still a res resophonic sound, and uh, you know there's the the variables left to experiment with are uh, are, are are very numerous, um, different weighted slides, different weighted strings, different weighted picks, the the normal things. Um, Oh yeah, the bridge, of course. I could have used a different bridge on that. It's actually a, a three-footed bridge. Most of the bridge a band, a biscuit bridges are one piece and go right into the disc. The thickness of the biscuit, mine is very thin, so I don't know what a, th a thicker biscuit would sound like, just to mention that. And once again, that, that music for one thing has led me to a name. Okay, we bannered around a few different names. The Intel, the Intel Dobro, the... Oh, I don't even know what else we have. The Tin Can Dobro, a few other things. But I decided to call it the Solo Bro. So, thanks for watching these videos. And please shoot back your comments and ideas to me on the thread on, uh, on the Rezo Hangout. Once again, my name is Mac, and I live in Lake George, New York. Behind the camera has been Marilyn. Thanks, Mayor. You're welcome. And hope to hear from... Some Dobro pickers real soon about this. Thanks.